What's going on all you gamers, here we are back with some more Outriders and today I'm going to be going over some really nice mods, a lot of armour ones and a couple of weapon ones that you can chuck on if you really want to make a nice hybrid build. So if you're trying to get a nice build that kind of has a little bit of anomaly and a bit of firepower then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox, and of course a lot more Outriders and all the latest and greatest gaming on the way, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. But for today, you're here to pretty much find out some really nice mods that you can grab for your character for a kind of hybrid build. Now, if you don't know what a hybrid build is, it basically means kind of how it sounds, it's when you're not going a complete one path. So for example, you're not stacking everything into your anomaly, or you're not stacking everything into your kind of firepower, you're probably going a bit of a variant, you're going a bit of hybrid, you're going to mix up your skill tree and try and get the best of both worlds, or at least get it really high in both so that you can have a bit of fun variant gameplay. Now first off, there is one thing I would say, hybrid builds are a little bit tough to pull off. I'm not going to lie, they can be a bit tricky. Make sure you've kind of set your skill tree how you want. Make sure you've got a nice bit of high firepower, a nice bit of high anomaly, and you may be okay. But if you can't put the stuff together correctly, they'll be very tricky. But hopefully, after you've seen some of these mods, they'll help you out and you'll be able to make your build a little bit more feasible. So first up, just one of my favorite easy to use mods keeps you alive, gives you a little bit of everything, rejuvenation. Receive 14,158 firepower, 7,005 anomaly power and 40,957 armor for 8 seconds whenever your health is replenished. There's a 10 second cooldown, but you're going to be having this constant in most playstyles. As long as you're getting a bit of health back, which when you get kills, when you've got regen, whenever you're kind of playing the game and doing what you should be, you will be getting that and rejuvenation will pretty much be up as long as it's not on cooldown. Meaning that you'll have a nice bit of hybrid and a bit of survivability. Just an all around really nice mod to have and it's feasible in nigh on most builds. Next up, and we've got power from the ashes. This can be really good in some builds, in others it's probably a bit trickier to pull off. But killing shots on enemies afflicted with ash increases your anomaly power by 13,599 for 20 seconds and stacks up to two times. Basically giving you around about 27k in actual anomaly power, not a bad little buff and if you are applying ash, say for example it's on your weapon anyway, it can really help in some situations even though I don't know if it's the best because you might be missing out on a little bit somewhere could work in some pyromancer builds but i would say you will take a lot to kind of work towards but then again it all depends on your playstyle and what build you put together next up we've got this one which is very difficult to actually test move and groove moving increases your anomaly power by 9066 and firepower by 12871 basically as long as you're moving as long as you're running gunning doing your anomaly stuff you will be getting that boost However, every time I run, when I press kind of select or back and try to have a little look at my stats, because I've actually stopped, I can't check it out. So as far as I know this works, but I can't guarantee it. It's quite low, so it's hard to actually factor in and work out significantly. If it works, it could be nice, although I do feel there are a lot of other ones that are just a lot more straightforward. As even, even quite often, you'll be kind of shooting and taking cover or standing still at some points, ducking down, trying not to get shot, or just kind of bogged down by enemies. So I don't think this is the best one, but it may work in some builds. Next up, and one of my favourites, is definitely this one just here. Standing Tall. Receive 9066 anomaly power and 12871 firepower when out of cover for more than 5 seconds. Now, nigh on in 95% of the time, you will be out of cover. You will bop in every once in a while, but honestly, most times you'll find yourself just running and gunning and obviously just making sure that you're in amongst the mix of things, getting the damage up, and with this, it's almost a permanent buff. 9096 anomaly power and 12871 firepower, pretty much constant as long as you're out of cover for more than five seconds, which, like I said, nigh on most times, this will be applied to your build. 
Now next up, and I'm gonna go with a really nice easy one for the tier threes, and that's this one just here, Anomaly Echo. It might seem a bit low, but you might as well say it's pretty much a permanent in nigh on most builds because of the activation time. So grants 3,276 firepower and 11,484 anomaly power bonus on skill activation for 15 seconds. Like I said, it doesn't sound like it's going to light the world on fire because it is a little bit on the low side, but it's also near enough a permanent buff as long as you've got a little bit of cooldown, as long as you're able to use skills every 15 seconds, that's going to be on your build and it's going to make sure that you've got that kind of hybrid bonus going on at all times. Now next up, and these ones can be a little bit tricky to pull off, but if you're going for a kind of crazy crit build, these could really work if you were going for a hybrid crit. So just here we've got crit stack. Critical shots build up 5 second stacking effect that grants 3500 anomaly power and 7723 firepower bonuses and stacks up to 5 times. That's pretty significant. It's the firepower at the very least is really really high, really nice and you get a big chunk on the anomaly power. Honestly if you're doing a kind of hybrid build and you're trying to make it kind of a variant around crit, this I would say would probably need to definitely be on your build. Next up, and just an all around great mod for any crit build, especially when you're doing a lot of damage with your guns and if you want to be a bit of a team player as well, killing enemies with aura of force, this mod right here means that your critical shots when you kill them will give 30,825 anomaly power to you and your allies for 10 seconds. If you've got a good enough build that revolves around more kind of firepower and crit but you want to boost anomaly power through the roof for yourself and for, and for your team players this could be a really nice one to put on for a team buff. And finally just moving over to our tier 3 one just over here is arms and anomaly. Critical shots increase your anomaly power by 19,946 for 6 seconds. Now it's got a 7 second cooldown and for a tier 3 I've got to admit I would I would have liked to have seen that at least have a 10 second like kind of application. 6 seconds seems a little bit on the low side, but I suppose if you have got a crit build going on, it is only getting critical shots. You're going to have it up a lot of the time, so maybe that's why it's kind of low. And if you chucked it on with some of the others, it could work together very well in a complete crit build. Right, so going over to the weapon mods, for me there's two that stand out above all else. One of them is really easy to get hold of. So it is uh, this one just here, if I remember what it looks like. Ah, nice and easy. Anomaly Enhancement. Receive a passive firepower boost equal to 30% of your anomaly power. This right here can be pretty amazing. Anomaly Enhancement can make your firepower ridiculous ridiculously high in hybrid builds especially if you've got those kind of buffs in your skill tree when on activation you boost your anomaly power more or your firepower more this right here can mean it goes absolutely skyrocketing a really great mod to add on and great in almost all hybrid builds and last but definitely not least the one that probably everyone has heard about by now and probably wanted from day one but a lot of people still haven't been lucky enough to get and it's this one right here fortress receive up to 43 percent damage bonus based on your armor now at end game as far as i'm aware you're pretty much guaranteed that 43 percent i think it's anything over like 35 36 thousand armor gives you the full buff the reason I'm saying this is for hybrid build is just for the sheer fact it's a 43% extra damage buff on everything. Your skills, your firepower, your punching in the face power, your whatever you're doing, you're going to get that 43% in a lot of builds. This will be one of the best you can put on a weapon, chuck it on and it will definitely boost anything you're doing and just absolutely massacre all of your enemies. Right all you guys and girls hopefully that's helped a few of you out if you are trying a kind of hybrid or a variant build where you're going to go through a skill tree go for a bit of everything then maybe some of those would be nice to chuck on your actual armor or on your weapon or just chuck into your playstyle somewhere. But yeah, let me know how you get on let me know if there's any that you think I've missed off that I'm kind of missing out on. But for myself, I think they can work really well in that kind of crit or hybrid build. So give them a little whirl. As always, guys and girls, take care. I'll see you on next day.